From the savannah, to the midland, and the equatorial, Ambazonia has risen, to fall no more, Ambazonia rise. Dear Ambazonians on the home front and diaspora, Dear Ambazonia freedom fighters in the home front and in the diaspora, the Ethics Commission of the Federal Republic of Ambazonia is coming out to alert you that it is becoming more and more evident that the former British Southern Cameroons, aka Ambazonians, will soon emerge as the newest nation in the world. We are calling on all of us to start preparing to receive Ambazonia as parents prepare to receive their firstborn child. Malcolm X said, tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. We are already very educated, talented and very rich in natural resources. Do all this guarantee a safe and prosperous Ambazonia? The answer is an emphatic no. Theodore Roosevelt said, to educate a person in the mind but not in morals is to educate a menace in society. Ambazonians, it is time to start planning to restore our cultural and social values that characterize us as a people of good repute. Before our Republic to Canary invasion, we were respectful of each other, of the law, and of our culture. We earned our living through honest hard work, making clean money for ourselves. Our values helped us to maximize the benefits of our natural resources as well as our human resources. Southern Cameroons were serene and clean, simply beautiful in spirit and in the physical. We all long for such a place to call home and we can make it happen by God's grace. Our local government areas and counties, are you prepared? Do you have an ethics commission in your local government areas? Counties to serve as a moral compass for you? Do you have a copy of the Ambazonia Ethics Code and the Constitution? All arms of governments, do you have an ethics agency, departments of DSS, HSS, Communications and IT, Education, DHACM, DFA and DERNR? Do you have ethics agency to serve as a moral compass for your departments? Ambazonians! You need to know your rights by reading the Ethics Code and the Constitution. Shame on ethical behavior and reward good behavior in your communities. Hold leaders accountable. Be the watchdog of your communities and governments. See something, say something. The Church. You are the main research center of moral principles with the responsibility of moralizing the society. How effective are you outside the church building? Maya Angelou said, when you know better, then you do better. Amazonians watch ethics for an emerging Amazonia every Friday at 10 p.m. Amber time. Exclusively on ABC Amber TV. Stay tuned.
from the savanna to the midland and the equatorial ambazonia has risen to fall no more ambazonia rise Dear Ambazonians on the home front and diaspora, Dear Ambazonia freedom fighters in the home front and in the diaspora, The Ethics Commission of the Federal Republic of Ambazonia is coming out to alert you that it is becoming more and more evident that the former British Southern Cameroons, aka Ambazonians, will soon emerge as the newest nation in the world. We are calling on all of us to start preparing to receive Ambazonia as parents prepare to receive their firstborn child. Malcolm X said, tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. We are already very educated, talented and very rich in natural resources. Do all this guarantee a safe and prosperous Ambazonia? The answer is an emphatic no. Theodore Roosevelt said, to educate a person in the mind but not in morals is to educate a menace in society. Ambazonians, it is time to start planning to restore our cultural and social values that characterize us as a people of good repute. Before our Republic to Canary invasion, we were respectful of each other, of the law, and of our culture. We earned our living through honest hard work, making clean money for ourselves. Our values helped us to maximize the benefits of all natural resources as well as our human resources. Southern Cameroons were serene and clean, simply beautiful in spirit and in the physical. We all long for such a place to call home and we can make it happen by God's grace. Our local government areas and counties, are you preparing? Do you have an ethics commission in your local government areas? Counties to serve as a moral compass for you? Do you have a copy of the Ambazonia Ethics Code and the Constitution? All arms of governments, do you have an ethics agency, departments of DSS, HSS, Communications and IT, Education, DHACM, DFA and DEINR? Do you have ethics agency to serve as a moral compass for your departments? Ambazonians! You need to know your rights by reading the Ethics Code and the Constitution. Shame on ethical behavior and reward good behavior in your communities. Hold leaders accountable. Be the watchdog of your communities and governments. See something, say something. The Church. You are the main research center of moral principles with the responsibility of moralizing the society. How effective are you outside the church building? Maya Angelou said, when you know better, then you do better. Amazonians watch ethics for an emerging Amazonia every Friday at 10 p.m. Amber time. Exclusively on ABC Amber TV. Stay tuned.
this week's undaunted news recap. I am Star Smart. Remember, the recap is the highlight of our major stories for the week. The idea is to bring the major news to you in case you miss the news within the week. We begin with another ploy but by Cameroon playing the obvious game. These are old cards and Amazonians know them well. Yawunde shivers as interim government sneezes, offers motorbikes to enablers to counter lockdown. One thing remains certain that there will be no May 20th celebration on the home front. Motorbikes or no motorbikes, Amo Mezam or no Amo Mezam is called by the interim government and reiterated by President Samuel Ikome Sako. May 20th was the day of final annihilation, annexation, subjugation of Southern Cameroonians, Amazonians and the rising of the never again generation under the most resilient, focused, steadfast and results oriented leader Dr. Sako. Such a, such a sad day should not be celebrated. 20th May should be a day of mourning. The offer of motorbikes at this time from the colonial regime to counter interim government lockdown is considered dead on arrival. This offer from a moribund junta in Yawunde can be seen as the last kicks of a dying horse. The offer confirms the high-handedness of the colonial regime never to see the genocidal war end because they have been finding it and feeding fat from on it. This offer is equally a poisoned gift. How can a colonial administration that identified motorbikes as weapons being used by the restoration fighters and banned them make the same offer to their vigilantes who have all along been working this guy's spies, kidnapping, looting and causing lots and lots of atrocities and placing these crimes on Amazonian restoration fighters in order to paint them black now decide to arm their accomplices vigilantes? Vigilantes in La Republic de Cameroon Cameroon military are responsible for a majority of atrocities caused in this ongoing liberation war as they usually disguise under colonial government cover to settle scores. Final victories for ARFs. Now that the T4 finally be clotted, it is a big opportunity for the ARFs to harvest those motorbikes and use them against the enemy. The vigilantes who are dubious and double-faced, working under a lot of pretense and enriching themselves, illicitly may not accept this offer because the motorbikes will easily identify them and make their survival difficult. If they don't value their lives, let them take these motorbikes at their own risk. More often, the colonial gov governor in Bamenda local government area, Lele Lafrique, has always used his country boys from Mbuda to counter ghost towns by supplying them motorbikes and using the Amma Mizam agency owned by his Mbuda brothers in the same manner. In this light, the ARS should redouble vigilance. Like in Donga Matun County, where the colonial administration arms its, its accomplices, the Fulanese and Mbororo militias, to kill civilians, burn houses, and loot property in cattle, Lele Lafrique is notorious for using his kit and kin from Mbuda to disrupt ARF's actions on home front. We'll move into the recap now.
The first report from the week is the story of the Amazonian civilian population continuing to be victims of the war and today going through. Some Amazonian war victims since 2017, this report was particularly painful to me as I saw about 497 war victims so far. Listen to the report. Ambe Abanda is a popular DJ in the Manda local government area who was taken into custody by the La Republic du Cameroon colonial military on trumped up charges that he is a separatist fighter. The DJ was found with an FM transmitter he uses in connecting microphones. The colonial BIR elements who arrested him say the transmitter was used to detonate a bomb in Mamenda and remanded him in custody. After public outcry and further investigations, he was found not guilty and freed. Ambe Abanda is just one of few Amazonians set free under such circumstances. Many innocent Amazonians have been taken by this cruel colonial La Republic du Cameroon genocidal government and have never been seen again. Wawa Jackson Info, journalist, freelance reporter, teacher, rights, justice, peace and freedom advocate, former journalist at Abakwa FM Radio, CNTV Bamenda, released after three years of imprisonment for no just reason, but simply because he reported the truth about military atrocities and human rights abuses recounts. In his words, on this day of the Lord's year 2021, I walked free from Nkambe prison. It appeared to me like a dream had almost lost hope following countless adjournments and delays in my court case. Not believing my own eyes, I asked Barrister Nguang She, my counsel and hero, whether truly we were going home. Get into the car, let's go, it is over, he replied. The court had just ruled in a summary trial transforming my near three-year stay in Ngata into punishment for a crime we will one day know where I committed. I was set free though, as I descended the staircase of the prison facility, I looked back and dumped the bitterness nursed while in chains. It was needless to imprison myself again with grudges against anyone. It was a painful experience, but I can only look back, talk about it now in the past tense and laugh. Complete story will be told at the right time in a book. Thank you my people for rescuing and making me stand on my feet once more. Samuel Wazizi, a cameraman and reporter, was arrested in Boya for taking pictures during a confrontation that pitted the La Republic du Cameroon military versus unarmed civilians. He was transferred to Yawunde and died in detention through torture while his case was still being heard and adjourned in Boya. As we reported, the Yawunde colonial authorities have not handed his remains to his family for three years today. Mr. Werber Afonso Bruno was caught in early January 2017. Reason given at prison is that they were those sending away people not to go and sell in the food market. He was a trader himself at the food market in Bermenda. He has been in detention since 2017. His contact number is 6802578875. General No Pity's girlfriend, Antoinette Kongso, was arrested in Boya, heavily pregnant and detained for having had relations with No Pity. She gave birth to her child while under detention. For crying out loud, against underdevelopment in Bermenda town, Mancho Bibixi was sent to the dreaded Yawunde Central Prison at Kondegi. One of the saddest of Amazonian cases was that of Mr. Tangem Thomas Nganyu, a monk who was arrested in Boya under trumped up charges of aiding the restoration fighters. Sick as he was, the cruel colonial Yawunde regime chained him to his hospital bed where he gave up the ghost. Thomas Tangem was brought to the Yawunde Central Hospital on July 25, 2020. After it was allotted, he was sick of meningitis and risked getting worse off at the Kondegi Central Prison. The list cannot be exhausted because there have been several disappearances. Some identified Amazonian prisoners of war, 497 detainees since 23rd February 2018. Ngalim Felix Safe, Asela Cha Martin, C. Conrad, Tamwa Marvin, Ta Emile Agwe, Kinga Valentine, Awa Thomas Zayanga, Alobwede Van Kingsley, Bezeng Mervin, Pen Terence Khan, Mancho Bibixite, Tso Bayong Eugene, Tayo Livite, 
Nji Roja Ate, Kafu Isedo, Nji No Titus, New Forum Eugene, Lopte Jacob, Hamadu Sadun, Nungfo Godlove, Joseph Ngwa Ngaling, Fung Kalemba, Funyu Terence Banye, George Mfo Tang, Nganyu Tangem Thomas died in chains on a hospital bed at the Yawunde Central Hospital. Fu Lutache, Jermaine Zenzo, C.B. Tay Clarence, Ba Polinus, Mfam Ivo, Achue Devin, So Gabriel, Atone Ezekiel, Abantele Victor, Nuyo Isaac, G. Victor Tembe, Mohamed Salid, Babila Vena, Ngoran Livinus Kernu, Wengo Bonkire Flavian, Nju Alex, Cyril Beniu, Ntongwe Donald, Akenbong Divine, Zeyuf Rao Wisanyu, Livinus Zelau Monyu, Wala Ernest Nutai, Njodzeka Leonard Suili, Ndifo Smith, Lambert Jubril, Simplis Fotabong, Ambese Divine, Platini Anga Ako, Ntanji Isidore Ako, Ngolefe Franklin, Ngu Thomas, Efwete Armstrong, Kumlak Jefter, Ambe Lewis, Ngawe Kenneth, Taku Tanka Raymond, Tamba Norbert, Yongo Collins, Njabori Gilio, Makolo Ekoi Matthias, Miao Kome, Su Paul Vincent, Nche Benjamin Amabu Ndawa, Abang Ramsey Jafara, Nsaga Aruna Tata, Sakwe Oliva, Amba Ralhim, Kame Betran Ungong, Su Emmanuel, Nde Jermian, Tati Eric Ungu, Ikoi Clinton Itoe, Awo Gregory Ashu, Ayunkem Franklin, Nkweta To Robert, Weba Didumus, Njea Julius Bawe, Epite Harris Boseme, Nkwenkia Fonya Linus, Sobonyi Afonse Tatia, Njigang Nelson, Benjamin Tanto, John Marinus, Efia Gideon, Oben Franklin, Ewane Oliva, Tanyi Robert Tato, Kendall Edwin, Ayon Charles, Bu Mbi Roger, Fonjong Armstrong, Albert Taku Joseph, Odema Francis, Jones Njila Tanto, Kum Nasto, Jude Veranso, Ame Benjamin, Menji Christian, Aye Dennis, Ebasom Newton, Achu Fermin, Anyam Jean Austin, Amechi John, Fontong Evans Teba, Ta Nesto Fon, Teba Festinus Ache, Ngome Richard Kwa, Amos Binta, Franklin Emia, Christian Nansiu, Pius Ngoran, Tunkon Divine, Elvis Fonyu, Yuki Ernest, Romeo Sevidzame, Joseph Bongu, Wadzenu Leonard, and Nifata Kelvin, Yvan Emmanuel, Edwin Dubila, Mwanyam Clovis, Ashime Brown, Lontum Wilfred, Kidze Telson, Voma Romanus, Sala Edmond, Penue Thierry, Nyete Boris, Damian Bongben, Adamis Martin, Goran Emile, Cassius Luzemo, Mohamedou Rabiu, C.K. Muligan, Bame Emmanuel, Amadou Hassan, John Nkwa, Lokom Abdurrahman, Nsoye Nashus, Kata Ezekiel, Zakaria Isal Zenyu, Tita Tibid, Lukong Abdullai, Fon Stanley, Fonden Philemon, Ebain Clovis, Ayong Raymond, Again Norbert, Nkwo Beltus, Teke Rene, Ito Henry, Owen Bertrand, Mbu Cedric, Ayumpe Moses, Abanda Louis Eno, Atu Joseph, Ashu Jolibebe, Fonge John Fonge, Acheshi Hamlet, Derek Mogu Fon, Male Priska, Ngwa Valentine Che, Etame Matthew, Fon Elvis Kuma, Amadu Armstrong Ndiche, Ekiko Ekole Patrick, Ekiko Pamela, Kemba James Okale, Fongong Christopher Guido, Yvonne Cho, Amban Lewis, Zenge Hilari, Kanga Amos, Ake Roland, Ivo Unjum Agwe, Tianyi Elvis, Taking Fritz Mbi, Henry Abegwe, Funang Sinclair, Kanu Gildas, Fonkam Pierre, Afu Jarvis Ngoru, Aban Modest Kelly, Nju Kinsley, Nasa Fonto, Ngong Canisius Yo, Ngong Solos Walang, 
Lumbra Bruno Mkenta, Kang Gerard Kum, Itie Frank Chu, Ewi Allen Min, Kang Sen Nestor Mba, Achuo Emmanuel Kum, TB Vincent Tebug, Fung Marcel Mi, Safe Dalitu, Fosu Armstrong, Ngango Jean Baptist, Walter Numvi, Che Clovis Nji, Music Valentine Koyela, Tanyi Siru, Garba Gilbert Ade Kletus, Nkweta Gizereta Adze, Donation Stem, Che Rollins Neba, Babila Jr., Indifora Edwin Awe, Berinu Elvis, Akia Franklin, Nkweta O'Neill, Ndam Frederick, Tasama Roderick, Konyu Mustafa, Tabufo George, Taka Franklin, Nto Marcel, Nfomi Samuel, Alumba James, Nuala Walters, Gabsaga Roland, Akere Goodwill, Moa Richard, Mwele Gabriel, Ndele Abraham, Achidi Lazarus, Julius Ndi, Nkezemo Primus, Wigo Isidore, King Yu Roman, Nde Divine, Chian Cyprian, Chian Cyprian, Benyela Raymond, Ndago Clovis, Jaff Kajetan, Balanjo Valeri, Abia Remy, Big Wayne Hebromic, Nde Clifford, Fowa Armstrong, Ndam Norbert, Chick Eric, Ambe Adolf, Achidi Godlove, Do Bless, Acha Emily, Ndam Lewis, Akuba Jonathan, Caroline Nchangwe, Mba Sunita, Ngwa Kelda, Njo Faon, Atu Mainline, Acha Christabel, Fringwe Mispa, Indi Yu Blessing, Lukong Hazan Jumban, Marcel Amabo, Eno Daniel Adiepe, Tayong Gideon, Zu Michael Che, Ba Stanley Munya, Samson Njume, Nge Diodone, Nsum Glory, Eno Dalentin, Ngwa Elvis, Bismarck Tiku, Kum Victor, David Ihimbru, Echu Sam Will, Tim Elvis, Atanga Ivo, Kudi Rollins, Ayisi Marcel, Mumba Joel, Tebo Harris, Awa Felix, Eta Stephen, Kudi Lewis, Bache Mustaf, Claxin Tita, Kake Lawson, Hilary Tebo, Agobo James, Teddy Asobo, Fonto Ebenda, Ungo Justin Atambi, Ndo Lawrence, Fomofo Raymond, Etonje Dennis, Ashu Eyong, Abang Raymond, Agbo Young Joshua, Mendong Vincent, Ashu Gideon, Fotso Okis, Muliki Charles, Ogenebe Fabris, Batambu Sama, Kebila Kalise, Unsong Glory Ngwembi, Babili Pierre, Mba Betelis Anduli, Mbami Marvin, Tua Ngoya, Ozim Teddy, Yangon Pellerman, Alango Ivo, Wunge Johnson, Ngoya Simon, Menkam John, Ojung Abo Ane, Eno Besong, Mboku Beckley Tita, Aka Victor, Neba Blaze, Meleba Stephen, Iku Hannes, Acha Bakai John, Tan Yisin William, Besong Tabi Blaze, Efonde Gires Tanyin, Ayuk Kevin, Ka Mirabel Female, Shipo Emmanuel, Mofo Wisdom, Tenjon Jaya Atu, Ndong Gilbert, Aka Smith, Ashu Tando, Chi Lewis Mba, Do Lewis Nuyela, Ewane Sonny Jose, Fotobang Samson Bechim, Ngole Modest, Tamwa Destin, Afo Bruno, Vokema Abeng, Ekoko Kingston, A Two Day Search, Amuna Sara, John Nesto, Abang Hansen, Mba Harris, Festus Nyanganji, Ayingang Johnson, Akafu Desmond, Nelson Vutum, Anod Opel, Foban Rudolph Yu, Ncho David, Banta Glenn, Derek Enongene, Eseme Verasin, David Samuel Mbi, Nyasim Jewel, Masango Florence, female, Tancha Nicoline, female, Cam Robert, Ezie Eric, Ebert Curtis, Ebert Lydia, female, Ayumbe Rene, Osaka Nelson, Aja Boris, Njun Thomas, Nganga Neville, Ndi Rene, Maya James, Mawo Dennis, Awaru Dennis, Abba Ivo, Umfo Emmanuel, Are Ebert, Eno Frederick, Ako Jude, 
Tabo Desmond, Ashu Charles, Kampani Bazil, Atembeg Niki, Ungoskwe Henry, Atea Wong Vincent, Mbatima, Enoch Wang Darlington, Tembeg Godfrey, Ngoe Baris, Ta Allen, Akum Serge, Anongene Landry, Tabi Vigram, Ngome Masongo, Njie Lewis, Amo Samson, Ngole Richard, Do Baris, Oben Clovis, Nkwele Byron, Patrick Christian, Debu Marcel, Peter Mba, Che Azaya, Kulma Terence, Neba Nelson, Ku Cyril, Mark Akong, Rene Fowanchang, Mbera Salomon, Echu Noah, Obi Tadius, Tanga Julius Taba, Obasi Hensley, Ayong Maxwell, Matthias Efamba, Sakwe Terence, Tabe Joe, Njo Ivo, Kum Marcel, Tambia Clinton, Ako Blaze, Eboka Kelvin, Bioko Terence, Mbi Nkongo Abel, Atanji Rex, Andy James, Andy Dimian, Aban Julius, Etongwe Edward, Nanka Fabrics, Mabian Dixon, Taco Elvis Mbia, Akenji Roland, Nde Roland, Kendo Simon, Shafei Marcel, Ali Barika, Akeji Nema Roy, Tenbeck Leonard, Ajeni Roland, Sakwe Desmond, Kulu Joseph, Aminkeng Atambon Carson, Fatao Adamu, John Chi Sa, Ngong Leonard, Budi Dirang Bright, Nana Betrand, Elu Mbi Achamba, Very Sick, Onua Rene Sick, Ate Penwa, A Teacher Charles, Obele Divine, Tembi Blaze, A Chao Kelani Ati, Ebai Raymond Ebai, Peter Mba Tu, Che Isala, Mendy Elvis, Aga Thomas, convict for 11 years, Ama Bidias, Mba Kirian, Kimbi Terence, and Nongene Landry Tu, Acha Wilson, Tosam Clement, Reverend Dr. Ambia Zesh Andrew, Che Chi Joseph, Tita Eric Takui, Darcy Alfred, Kiso Bertrand, Ndango Patrick, Chuka Walters, Dr. Awo Emmanuel, Z. Kenneth, Augustine Gawil Barris, Njasang Nji, Dr. Egbe Ogok, Dr. Fidelis Ndeche, Dr. Kimeng Henry, Dr. Cornelis N. Kwanga, Unfo Ngala Unfo, Tassan Wilfred, Barrister Eyan Bay, Elias Ebai, Barrister Shufai Blaze, Professor Che A. Awasum, Sisiku Julius Ayuk Tabe, Aza Levis, Fumuso Ivo, Afu Nivel, Beris Beza. And of course, it is important to highlight that some Amazonians have simply disappeared. Thousands are languishing in the dungeons of the Cameroons subjected to inhuman conditions. This is just to tell La Republic du Cameroon that undaunted ABC Amber News is making a very close watch. Our second story for the week was the story and news of restoration forces that are ARFs. The ARFs are ensuring respect of Ghost Town Country Sunday in Kumba local government area. We clearly reported that no fly was seen in circulation. Meanwhile, we got reports that in the past, motorbikes commonly called or cathars used to ply the roads, but now everything has been banned. From the video you're going to watch now, one can see an empty Kumba town under the control of restoration fighters. Let's see that video again. Yes. Yeah. My general transport ID is today now on the 6th of May 2022. We're going to have to run take and over. We're going to have to run take and over. We're going to have to run take and over. We're going to have to run take and over. We're going to have to run take and over. We're going to have to run take and over. We're going to have to run take and over. We're going we made a move at all. Any big place where they go pump, they go book come. You know, say the time to start for the war. Now don't see them. No man who they now who over the road. So they will confirm them. They will do.
also got you a report that Pamol Supervisor was beheaded, Emmanuel Sonde Mbombo was found beheaded and in an advanced state of decomposition barely two weeks after the so-called All Indian Peace Conference that was boycotted by Colonial PM Dion Ngute Son of the Soil. This is really a sad story as we saw Emmanuel Sonde Mbombo as the latest victim of the ongoing Amazonian Liberation War. The PAMO team supervisor was found beheaded and in an advanced state of decomposition May 9, 2022, four days after he was kidnapped by gunmen. This, we reported, happened at the Manam Makete estate belonging to the agro-industrial company which specializes in the production of palm and rubber pamel. This report goes on to say that Emmanuel Sonde Mbombo was stationed in Mudemba local government area, Indian County, and was accused of being a traitor by Amazonia Restoration Forces. It is said that he continuously called on workers of the company to continue working in spite of warnings by separatist fighters to stop activities in the local government area. It may interest you to know that this is not the first time supervising staff of PAMO is so gruesomely murdered. Eric Bakia, the late GM, was also a victim of the armed separatists, just like six divisional delegates. We'll move into the interview now. We have some very important guests with us tonight. We have the um, Secretary of State for National Security, Mr. Francis Chini, in the house. If that's correct, let me hear you. saying we have a very important guest with us tonight secretary of state for national security and self-defense mr chini francis i want to be sure he's here with us yes that's mark i'm here can you hear me um hello sir smart can you hear me Yes, tell me. Hello. If you're there, I would like to hear, uh, have a confirmation for that. Can you hear me? Hello, good evening. Hi, Star Smart, can you hear me? Very well right now. Good evening, sir, and welcome. Thank you, thank you, Uncle Lady. How are you doing? I'm very well. It's nice to have you here tonight. Thank you. Okay, so I've got a few questions for you, but before that, I'd like to also mention the important presence of Secretary of State for Department of Special Operations at the Home Front, Sylvester Zuma. Mr. Z Sylvester Zuma, if you're in the house, I would also like to get a confirmation from you too. Okay, so I'll go, on, I'll go on with my questions now. Mr. Francis Chinyi, the first question will be, it is never okay enough to ask this question. In regards to the 20th May celebrations, being the um, Secretary of State for National, National Security and Self-Defense, what is your department doing in that regard towards the 20th May celebration? 
Thank you, Star, um, fellow television. My camera is not on because I ran into an emergency on the horn and I'm on the wheels. So and due to some technical delays, I wasn't able to handle this before stepping out. So All for right. today, I will be just on audio. As concerns the preparations for the total disruption of 20th May, which the colonial master uses on that day, um, all forces from the entire territory have been activated and all plans to make sure the 19th and the 20th of May is a total lockdown of the territory has been concluded. I want to make it very clear here that I, I understand there are multiple coming from other fronts we government do confirm that lockdown is the 19th which is the eve of 20th may and on the 20th prior to that everything will open i know there is manipulation between the enablers, coup plotters, that the regime in Yaoundé has announced that twenty nation will start as early as the 17th. <laughs> you have to understand, Star, that this celebration started as early as the 1st of January when the President of the Republic, his annual speech. That January 1st is on the day of independence, but they will never celebrate it because they want to manipulate, make sure they connect this day from our people. So if we want to lock down the territory from the 17th just because manipulative individuals that the, the celebrations will start on the 17th that is a fact because our people will be the surprise dearly so the ARFs have been activated to pay attention to lockdown on 19 and 20th and Amazonians are called to go about their business and make sure 19 and 20 are completely locked down. Thank you. Okay. So one last question, sir. Um, all right, so one last question before you leave. Start As the know. Secretary of State for Self-Defense and National Security, do you foresee any confrontations? And what do you and your department plan to do about any, if you foresee such? Thank you for that question. And being a very technical question, I do not really foresee any confrontations, but I understand that a lot of people will be out of trying to avoid any situation where they may run into comfort. The ARS at the home front are those con the territory. And less whoever that will be confronting is not an ARF. I do not see any confrontation. I'm calling on Ambazonians to take note of every restoration fighter that disturbs the community, 
on Tuesday the 17th or when 18, they should be able to forward that information to us so that we would take appropriate sanctions against those. They shall be open and people will go about their business. However, we are still calling on everybody to proceed with caution because the so-called Atanganji boys are equally making plans on attack our civilians and claim that those were the actions of ARFs. So that is why we are calling on the population to proceed with caution to understand that we are in a very difficult situation and the air master is able to manipulate and come up with things that will lead to our population being at a very big risk. So please make sure while doing your business, keep your eyes open, signal or alert your people around if you see anything that is suspicious so that we can inter or send back up in a very short distant time. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Mr. Francis Chingy? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I want to be sure you were done. Thank you so much for that moment there. Thank you for your contributions and giving us, you know, the justice to answering these questions. We appreciate your time here. And I appreciate your contributions totally, absolutely. But that will be all for now. Thank you so much. to a recap that the firepower exerted by the Ambazonian Restoration Forces at the home front has become unbearable on the cruel genocide of La Republic du Cameroon colonial military, otherwise referred to as Boys Scout by the Valiant ARFs, and the frustrated occupiers have turned their guns on innocent, armless, peace-loving denizens and even on themselves. Previously, the cruel genocide of La Republic du Cameroon colonial military shot a young pregnant lady by name Karo Dudu to death at their door at Jakiri local government area Monday, May 9, 2022. This is after they have failed in a confrontation with the ARFs. The interim government's call for a Wata no Wata ghost town is being respected to the latter. No flies, no motorbikes are seen out in circulation. Monday Country Sunday of May 9, 2022 turned out very deadly to the genocidal occupier forces in Jakiri and Unwa local government area and Lebelem County. Just to name this few, while observing Monday sitting in their quiet homes in Jakiri local government area, the frustrated military who have proven their incapability to face the vibrant and wounded ARFs entered into the house of a young pregnant lady by name Karo Dudu and shot her to death. One can see the young pregnant innocent Karo lying in a pool of blood with bullet shots. Ambazonian being a God-fearing nation, two La Republic du Cameroon colonial military men were ambushed in a bar still in Jakiri local government area and were neutralized. 
In Umwa local government area that same day, a second-class soldier called B.D. Edward shot his friend soldier to death called second-class Konyang and later shot himself after wounding an, a lieutenant called Bidza and another second-class called Kamala. In Umwa, as in Undu local government area, the colonial administration connives with the Fulani and the Mbororos to whom the former has armed to frustrate the ARS, but here we are today with a boomerang effect. That the hunter is haunted. In all, the ARFs are winning. Two colonial forces trekking into a village in Lebelem County were killed by an IED explosion. While it is good to send colonial soldiers to some Amazonians feel it was a waste of good bomb. They believe the IED should be used for heavy war trucks like the genuine ARFs did in Ngokitunja on the Kumba Ikondo Titi Road, etc. Now the interim government led by President Sacco has announced a two days lockdown starting the 19th to 20th of May 2022, but there seems to be some confusion. A certain group of mostly the disgruntled coup plotters were announcing a five days lockdown. Like seriously, did they even do a feasibility study or is it just an attempt to distract? We had intriguing commentaries and analysis from the Secretary of State for Self-Defense and National Security, Mr. Francis Chinyi, as well as ABC News Director, Ta Party King, to react to this. We also played a video to show you exactly what happened. You can see the video again. Tu me mets Tu me today, today, uh, like today, 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 the night. Today the 9th, the 9th, the 9th of May. This is, today is the 10th of May. This is Supreme Dada Anjou in Boyo. We are facing the Republic calories.
yet another night for our news director to be with us in the studio tonight. Mr. Tarpati King, it's nice to have you here tonight. Now, good evening, uh, Star Smart. It's nice to you hear me now. Yes, I can now. Okay, thank you for having me. I I believe that we have the SOS for special operations on the home front also with us here. And I followed very closely the recap you're having, very nice choices you made there. The, the Secretary of State for Special Operations is here to react on the same issue, the lockdown, the lockdown, the controversy widens as the days go by, uh, mixed feeling the interim government has done as much as they can. The, the Department of Communications and IT did a, a wonderful improvision, making sure that our people are, are reached out to communicate it upon using their vernacular, which is quite instrumental. A lot of local government areas have sent in recordings to inform the people on the rightful days. But um, Comrade Zama, please, can you hear me? You can hear at the background, just indicate that you can hear. Yes, I can. That's amazing. There is a new, there's a cliche now, a new cliche. You have Mr. Arnold saying that Cameroon is planning to have this exercise from the 17th. That is a way, I would say a ploy, to justify the five day lockdown. In other words, he's trying to give, because he knows that the decision that was made earlier on was not logical. He's aware that the decision that was made was just stupid without any feasibility study. It was a way just to show some relevance. Now, because the people are rejecting it even before time, he wants, as always, to manipulate fabricated a lie, claiming that Cameroon wants to start the celebration, hence, from the 17th. I don't know if that is true. I don't know if there is any document to, to justify that. But then I would like you to to react to this new, new development as per what the coup plotters are, are plotting. Well, I, I don't, we don't care whether La Republic uh, celebrates uh, their national day on the 15th, 16th, 17th, or never at all. The idea is not to open uh, 